Hey guys, James with TFB TV. I'm at the NRA annual meeting on the floor at Beretta. We're in the Beretta booth and with Ricardo, they've got a couple of really awesome guns that have come out. I'm gonna break this up into two videos because we've got a shotgun and a new pistol, but we're gonna talk about the shotgun first. Really cool story with how this originated. Ricardo, tell us about the new shotgun. So uh, basically about a year ago, maybe a little more, uh, the owner of the company, uh, called us and said, hey, listen, it's, it's about time that we get into practical shooting world. We had a few products, we already had a few pistols and everything, but we've never designed anything specific uh, designed by champions for the future, future champions into the practical shooting world. We have a lot of experience from whatever it is, Olympic shooting, clay targets. We have numerous amounts of medals if you start counting with all our guns and everything, even with semi auto So we say, okay, it's time to address probably one of the biggest or if not the biggest shooting segment uh, yeah. sports shooting segment in the world so I'm product manager for shotguns and this is the 1301 competition pro it's basically the gun that's gonna change the way you shoot uh, shotgun shooting uh, practical shooting with shotgun IPSC USPSA three gun whatever you name it it's uh, as you can see it's a blue gun we as Beretta were the first one that designed a blue gun for play shooting a long time ago so it's uh, it's the Beretta color uh, if we go to the features of the gun, it's basically, so going back to the project, we sit down, we call, I mean, so what do you do when you get an order like that? It's like, yeah. okay. So we called all the, the shooters that are sh that were shooting with us at the moment. Uh, some of them were already world champions in IPSC shotgun division. Uh, they have numerous metal holes on piece on everything. You know, I'm a good shooter as well, but if you get someone that's actually a champion, you can sit down and designed the gun from, from zero. So we right. sat down with all the engineers and there was a couple of days of discussions, a lot of meetings. What are we gonna do? Every single detail that you see on the gun was developed with them, even from the color of the sides, where you're gonna put the mid bit and everything. It's because everything you do on the gun, every single detail matters. And if you wanna win, especially when it, accuracy and speed is uh, key, everything needs to be perfect like it's just a formula one shotgun so yeah walk us from uh, front to back give so, us all the features from the front to the back we have uh well our, our standard uh optima bore hp choke so we're known also for making the best barrels in the world best pattern that you can get and this is going to help you especially when you're shooting tight corners or small targets around them with all the penalties it's going to help you green bead front bead we have a step rib which is tapered seven uh, ten millimeters uh, in the back and eight millimeters in the front, so it's safer. We have a mid bit you can take it off or not, depending on what you like. Uh, in this case, we don't have the extension because uh, we, <laughs> we couldn't take it uh, to the US, but the European version, we do have an extension. It's a uh, one solid piece extension made mm -hmm. by Tony System, one of the best customizers in, in Europe. Uh, it's one piece because it's more solid to the gun. You have less uh, problems, yes, yeah. less functions when you're loading a lot of rounds. Uh, going back, so we have uh, new furniture, basically we have uh, rubber grips on the forehand and on the pistol grip. If you go to the receiver, it's uh, let's start from the top, we have holes. If you want to add a Picatinny rail and use a red dot, you can do it. Uh, still with the Picatinny rail, you will be able to see the, the rib. So it's uh, you can take it off or not, it uh, depends on what you're going to do. Enhanced control, new uh, bolt release lever, which is like a low profile lever that you can actually clear malfunctions very easy. The biggest and uh, most exciting thing about this gun, as you can see, is how the lifter is positioned. Yes. So basically, what we did is just with the lifter and with a small modification, you create a ramp to load the gun. So no more thumb biting, no more double shell uh, yeah, yeah, on, yeah. The, on the lifter. With, that happens with most of the guns uh, if you're not loading the correct way. And if you're, if you're a weak hand loader or a right hand, you got a pretty big visual and the red follower also it's like an aiming point where you're throwing your, your, right, your right. target. So, you got to make quad loading a lot so easier. Yeah. Quad loading and everything. There's some people actually doing six loading now. Uh, uh, so uh. It's, uh, the red color also helps you where to aim the shells. Uh, it's already drilled and tapered, so you can uh, even take it a little bit more. But as manufacturers, we don't want to go too deep into customization. Because sure. first of all, that's part of the hobby. And second, there's uh, also many other things that I don't want to get into. Right, sure. <laughs> uh, so extended uh, safety. It's positioned in the front, so it's just a natural way to take it out and start shooting. And one of the other things that we're very known for is recoil reduction system. This yes. thing was in the the first time you saw it was on the Extreme Plus. It's a waterfall gun, but nobody likes recoil. And the more <laughs> you can control the recoil and the rest recoil you have, the more confidence you have in the gun, 
the better you shoot and the faster you can shoot. Like you, obviously, you can be more accurate. So when you're shooting very fast and you have your head is not bouncing at the time because as you can see there's a cut here so your shoulder and head will be positioned the back part of the stock and the gun will be moving right in front of you so the gun is moving but your head is moving much less right. so you are able to perceive and take action faster than with right. any other gun adjustable lop with uh, obviously different uh, spacers on the butt pad and you can also adjust the, the lop depending on which butt pad you want to one of the things we forgot to mention is that this is a gas operated system and uh, we as Beretta we are known for making the best gas operated system uh, shotguns or uh, gas operated shotguns in the market. Uh, as you can see it's a very simple system, it's just basically an uh, annular piston. You get your piston right here. With this gun you will be able to cycle uh, any type of round from 7.8 to Magnum shells, it's a three inch chamber gun with a three and a half inch receiver. So that's also another thing that I forgot to mention because uh, having a three and a half inch receiver, you have bigger windows for fitting rounds into the, into the fire. Wow. So that's it, and then the trigger group. So this is wow. it. It's a very simple gun, very easy to clean, no oil needed to work on the gun. You just put a little bit of oil on the receiver where the rods are and that's it. You reassemble your lever. And that's it, you're ready to put the gun back together. It's a, a pretty simple thing. This is why I love talking to project managers. Anybody who like works in product design, uh, you know everything. <laughs> you know, it's like, you, it's, so I really appreciate you walking me through every detail. But what everybody's gonna wanna know, MSRP release date. So MSRP is gonna be 1975 in uh, the US. Uh, release, we're just trying to get the guns as soon as possible to the US. We just recently got approved from the ATF, so it's going to be take a few months while we produce and ship it here. So I think probably by the end of the shooting season, you will be able to get hold of this gun and start next shooting season already with <laughs> warm ups and everything. Uh, well, I don't get too excited about shotguns, but this is one definitely worth getting excited about. Ricardo, thank you so thank much you for much, walking bro. me through it. Guys, we're going to bring you some more coverage from NRA and from Beretta. Stay tuned.